you guys remember when we did the last wagon video? You can tell I'm, I've got tears. I guess, what the heck? That was fun, but the wagon wasn't waterproof, so we couldn't float, really. So we looked at the comments. You guys left a bunch of great ideas. So today we're gonna try and accomplish a waterproof wagon boat. It's gonna work. Let's go. The beast. Get it down. Yeah. Uh, right, so what supplies did we bring for Okay, this? so we have an oar for when we start floating. We've got tape, and we've got a bunch of these pool noodles that we have some great ideas, guys. We think we're gonna uh, maybe like attach them here, or I think, yeah, like that? We're gonna have to figure out where around, put another floaty thing on the bottom. Oh yeah, there's no way this thing is sinking. No way! We gotta try and make it out to the middle of the lake where the huge waterfall sprayer thing is. So we got these little scissors. We're going to cut the pieces so they're proportioned around the whole thing. I think this is really the only spot we can attach them. Also, okay. try and think of buoyancy. I know I saw some comments saying like, you need to make like wings on the side, but like, should we put more of these on the sides or the front and backs? so it doesn't rock, because that's the way I fell last time. You rocked? Yeah, I rocked yeah. and fell backwards. Yeah, I think if we had a good mixture of it just across all, all the way, right? Yeah, but if we had more in the back and then more in the front, I think the buoyancy oh, would be better. Cut here. Oh wow, this oh. is very easy to cut, guys. If you ever wondered what's inside a pool noodle. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's good. Good. Now you just tape it down nice and firm. Okay. Are you following along? These steps you guys can do at home. <laughs> yeah, well, okay. if it works. Oh, trust me, it'll work. Guys, just figured out we can use some of your ideas you left about turning the sides into like wings. So we cut this in half, like right down the middle, and then we could just put it to the side right here so the buoyancy is still good. Yeah, there's no way it's gonna tip over. This is great! This is very difficult with these scissors we got here, boys. Keep, just keep trying, okay, buddy? And this is great footage. <laughs> Final step, underneath. Now, these guys will be installed like this. Perfect. What are you up to today? We're building a, a floatable raft. Okay, um, you cannot do that. No swimming in the lake. People aren't really supposed to be in it. Like we generally tell people anything above the knees anyways. But maybe if it's anything in the water at all, we cannot allow it. Man, guys, I, what happened? You guys are good guys and I'm not, and I, I don't want to give you a hard time. I know you're, you guys make a living off this and stuff like that, but I just want to give some advice. You're more, do you know where Palmer Lake is? Yes. Palmer Lake? You're more than welcome to do this here. All right, we are en route to the new lake, but guys, we have a p -p 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 problem. What? Look oh. at the clouds! Is it gonna rain? Ah! You know, it's a good thing that we got kicked out of that place because now we have time to get snacks. We have to get snacks, guys. We're going in because you don't want to be at sea and get hungry. That's the worst time to get hungry. Trust me. I got these last time for a snack. Oh, and they were so good. I really want more. But also, they got snackables. Man, they have the word snack in the name, so may have to go with these guys. Look, guys, it's a lion. Uh, also got a kombucha. Oh! Here's that cloud, guys. Well, we'll see what happens. It's very dark out. Oh no! You got to be kidding me, Marv. In the back window is open. Thanks a lot, Rain. Ladies and gentlemen, we have made it to the official, yes, official leg of the boat. We haven't even shown you what the boat looks like. Do I need to do a tour? But look at this <gasps> sign. We're at a dock here. It says for launch use only. No motorized watercraft. Fine. You can fly down this hill and <laughs> give them a tour. All right, check this out. Look at this. How cool does this look, guys? It's a double reinforced front and back. But not only that, look underneath. We got a floater. 
So we're hoping guys that this is enough to you know keep it afloat especially with these side wings so uh, let's bring it down to the dock and take a look at this water Ugh, look at all this sludge wow this is a wobbly dock boys you flew down that <laughs> ramp that you can make it through this <laughs> yeah you think that's possible anything's possible if you breed Guys, look, and we have a bunch of people kayaking out here. There's only one way to find out if this is gonna float. Float? Are we doing a float test or are we doing a well? First, fly off we gotta do a, we gotta do a float test first. Then we gotta do some sort of okay. flying All off. Right. Something. If this thing floats and we're able to float around, no issues, then maybe we can try. Yo, Shh. guys, leave a like if it should happen. All right, we just moved a little way from the dock, and I think right here is like a more flat ground, so we can, you could slowly go in and then be able to just see if it'll float. You guys watched the last one. I was the one who had to do all the testing of the boat, so now it's Andrew's turn. I still don't want to. I'd rather, like, maybe you did it. Well, I'd I mean, rather you do it. You're an experienced um, salesman in this thing. Well, you need to be experienced, too, because what if we get another boat? Oh, yeah. Actually, no. Nah. The moment of truth has come. Are you leaving snacks in there, guys? Yeah, that's for when I get out there and I'm gonna get hungry. Okay, so we're gonna start and push Andrew in backwards, like we did in the other video. This thing better work. <laughs> it has I don't to. Go uh, swimming. I did not want to go swimming today. Here's my hypothesis. It's at least gonna be better than without these. These can only make it better. Well, Do you really? agree? How could these make it worse? I'm just saying, like, oh really? <laughs> yeah, we Me got an too. audience. Awesome. What? You got the end here. That, we were seeing if it'll float first. The buoyancy first. Oh shoot. It's not looking good. Is water coming in? No, not yet, but you need to take your shoes off so you can wait out I with me. Okay. Pull me back in. You're heavy, I can't. Pull me. I can't. Do not drop me. This is gonna be classic when he goes in. You're so heavy. Don't call me that. Pull oh. me up, pull me up. Let's go. It's gonna float. It's working! Yeah! How does it feel? It's very interesting out here. Because when I was in it, it was Wobble City. It's pretty wobbly, but I feel like the wings are actually helping. We're out in the lake. I want to try and get over there by the fountain, but that's gonna take eons. This would actually, you could actually go fishing in this thing. I think for a, a next episode, we should get a fishing pole go out here and see if we can catch a fish from the wagon. <laughs> Guys, it's time for snacks, so. I'm coming back to shore. You almost made it. Can you get me? <laughs> Can you come a little closer? <laughs> Fine. <sighs> Pulling the docking mechanism. Whoa, yes sir. Oh. <sighs> All right, how do you feel now ah. that you've survived? There's a lot more water in here. <laughs> Do you want to take it for a swim? Not particularly. All right, what's the plan? Okay, we're gonna test the dock. I got snacks. <laughs> so he's gonna start just right here, just to see how bumpy it is, and even if it's possible. Yeah, so not too fast, and you're gonna stand over there and stop me so I don't go swimming yet. Okay, ready? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't need to stop you. Okay. Were you nervous? I was a little nervous. Now, a little higher. We have a, a little audience here. What do you guys think is going to happen? Will he be able to float after he goes off the dock? I feel like it's going to tip, so. yeah. yeah, tip, tip over. Yeah. Tip over? Yeah, I think it's going to tip over. And then he's going to fall out. I think, I think, I think he's going to go like this. He's going to go like this. It's going to float. It's totally going to float. Fall back when he hits it. So and then the back of the thing is going to fill up with water and he's going in. Just lean forward. That's, no, that's what you I guess. I mean, no one thinks you're gonna float, Andrew. You have to prove everybody wrong. Ah! Guys, I gotta show you a train. This train is right by the lake. Honk! Hey, yeah! That was epic. All right, so he's moved up just a little bit higher, but that's still, you'll probably get some speed, so hopefully yeah. okay. he's not going too fast because I gotta stop him. Okay, another test. Test number two. Ready? Ready. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Stop. <laughs> See, oh. you gotta do these tests so he can get a feel to what the ramp's like so he doesn't steer and just flip off like right. the side here. This is a very tight squeeze. It's possible, but guys, if you've seen Star Wars Episode 4, where Luke has to shoot his rocket into a little hole, that's kind of like this. That's basically this scene. How you feeling, Andrew? I'm kind of nervous. Right there, we're now right there. This is mainly because. Will we get it up? As you get to the top here, there's a few like large bumps. <laughs> yeah. So that's one concern. And then obviously the end where we have to hit it perfectly, otherwise it's gonna blow up. Yeah, so he's gonna get a push. And hopefully, hopefully I'll have enough speed. Oh, I'm, I'm not concerned about speed. Do you think he's going to fall in? I think he's gonna crack his head on the pillow. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. Give him a countdown. <laughs> you did it! Oh. You didn't float, but you did, he didn't crash. Yeah, that's cool. I, yeah. <laughs> so do you think if you leaned a little back, it would have worked? I don't know. Thoughts, Andrew, going down. It was good. I'm just like, I was so concerned about going through it, which I did. But it should immediately oh, nosedive. <laughs> Andrew's doing it again. Except this time he's gonna, I think, go the same speed. Are you gonna try and go faster? I think a little bit more speed will push. A little more speed, he said. Because he's gonna try and adjust, not lean as far forward. So hopefully, this would be so epic if it works, but I don't know. Give him a countdown, guys. Two, one, go. Hopefully he doesn't. <laughs> Dude, Dang it. that looks so close. I tried to lean back. <laughs> oh, that was a lot closer than the first time. I feel like for the dock guys, and it has to be some sort of like ramp up so you can get some air and land. So it's oh. not just like. <laughs> yeah. So, one more time. Uh, what are we gonna do? All right, so we're gonna go in the, just right here on the shoreline. Cause this is a big hill and it's more straight instead of just like dropping. So it's time to like level out. Right. I don't know, let's see what happens. We got good driving. He's lining up very well. Can he do it? Mm. <laughs> just flip. What? You direct front flip. I did not expect that. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, what do we need to do to make this possible? Leave comments down below and we'll look at them. What do we need to do to mod this to make it work? All right, guys, we just ran into a fan of ours. What's your name, bro? Zane. Zane, and how long you been watching? Uh, a couple years. He said a couple years. Usually when we ask people how long, they only say like a couple months. So when we find people who have been watching for that long, epic. Thanks for supporting, bro. Yeah. Well guys, leave a like because Andrew completed the mission. Yeah, and I'm just getting over a cold, so now hopefully I did, this doesn't like re-negotiate things. <laughs> Not only <laughs> is he getting over a cold, he's also cold, literally. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to laugh daily, guys. And if you want to see another episode of The Wagon, just let us know, okay? Thanks. Goodbye! <laughs>